Hey everyone, Pandy Knight here, Automation Panda and Developer Advocate at Appla Tools. Today, I'm going to show you how to start automating tests with Playwright, PyTest, and Python in 10 minutes flat. Playwright is an awesome new test automation framework from Microsoft that makes automating your web UI tests a breeze. So there's no time to waste. Let's jump in. Here I have a project open in Visual Studio Code. I've called it Playwright 10 minutes. Right now it's completely empty. The first thing we need to do is add our dependency packages. And to do that, I'll use a virtual environment. So I'll say Python 3-M VNV, and we'll put it in a folder called VNV. Next, we will activate so that we can start using it. And to use Playwright with PyTest, we need three packages pip install pytest, pip install playwright, and pip install pytest-playwright, which is the pytest plugin for playwright. It's a lot of P's going on. Once we have these installed, then we need to install playwright itself, playwright install. This will install the browser projects if you don't already have them. Normally, this might take a few minutes, but because I already have them installed, it was instantly there. The web UI test that we'll automate today is a basic DuckDuckGo search engine test. We can actually show it using Playwright's code generator. What we can do is we can write Playwright code gen and the name of the website we want to test. And Playwright will pop up a browser window together with an inspector window where it will automatically generate the code for any interactions we do. So I can come to the DuckDuckGo homepage type in a search phrase, click the search button, and you'll see that the inspector actually generates the code for all of our interactions. I think this is great to get started, and I think this is great for just trying to automate basic browser interactions. But to be honest, when I develop test cases, I prefer not to use the code generator because I feel like I can get better locators and better setup by doing the code myself. So let's do that instead. To set up our test project, we will need to create a new folder called tests that will hold all of our tests. And inside that folder, we'll need a new test module. We'll call it test search.py. In here, I can write my pytest test case, which is just a function, def test underscore search dot dot go. And now we can start adding some playwright stuff. In Playwright, there are browsers, browser contexts, and pages. The browser is the thing that is running your web app under test. But instead of using the stock browsers on your machine, Playwright uses browser projects. For example, instead of using Google Chrome directly, it uses Chromium. Instead of Safari, it uses WebKit. Instead of Firefox, it uses the core Firefox engine. When we ran Playwright install before, Playwright was installing those browser projects on your machine. When you run your Playwright tests, Playwright will start a browser instance of whatever target browser you're hitting. And from that browser instance, it can pull multiple browser contexts. A context is an incognito-like session, which holds all the state, all the cookies, all the context, all the sessions in and of itself privately. So you could have one browser instance with separate browser contexts for each individual test case. For example, that means you could run them in parallel safely. From a browser context, you can pull a page, and it is the page through which you perform all interactions, clicking, getting text, navigation, and whatnot. A browser context can have multiple pages, though for most test cases, you'll only ever need one page. The PyTest Playwright plugin does a lot of that setup automatically for you through fixtures. For example, in this test, all we really need is the page. So what I can say is from playwright.syncapi import the page class. And then I can declare the page fixture in my PyTest test function. I do like to use types so that autocomplete can help us. Now that we have the page, we can start doing interactions with it. 
So if I want to load the page, I can say something like page go to, and I put in the URL. And on that page, I can start making interactions. So I can say page locator ID equals search form input home page. This will find the element on the page that has an ID for this, which that is that search input where we typed in panda before. And once I have that, I can say fill it with whatever search phrase, panda. Then once I enter that, I can say something like page locator. So I want to hit the search button. So search button home page. And now I can say click. What's really nice about Playwright is that there's automatic synchronization and waiting in here. So after I navigate to the page, before Playwright will start to interact with these elements, it'll make sure that those elements are loaded and ready so that we don't have to worry about timeout issues or anything. By default, the timeout is about five seconds, but you can override it. After performing the search, we need to do some verifications. So to do that, we're going to need Playwright's expect function. This is similar to JavaScript's expect function, and it enables Playwright to do web-first assertions, meaning built-in waiting and all that good stuff. So one thing we could check on the page is to make sure that the search phrase is at the top of the page in the input. So we can say something like expect page locator, and the locator for that search bar on the result page is ID equals search form input. And we want to expect it to have value uh, that it has panda as its value. It's really nice. You could see the autocomplete there suggested all the web first assertions. We could also check things like to see if the title of the page is what we expect. Now we don't need to get a locator because we're doing an assertion on the page itself. Expect the page to have the title panda at duck duck go. Nice. Finally, we should check to make sure that there were result links shown on the result page. So we could make a check like this. Expect page locator. And this locator will be a bit more intense. Um, this one will get all of the hyperlinks that have that result title test ID attribute. And here I want to do an assertion, not just on one element, but on the collection. I can say, I expect that particular kind of item to have a count of 10, meaning I'm expecting 10 search results on that page. So this would be a fairly straightforward smoke kind of test, just a sanity check to make sure that a search can work. Let's run it to give it a try. Python-m pytest is the command to run tests. We want to give it the test directory so it knows where to search. And I'm also going to use headed mode. By default, Playwright will be headless, but I want us to see it run. Boom, boom, ran very fast, and it passed. That's awesome. That's all we have time for now. If you want to keep learning, take my tutorial on GitHub. It has full instructions with example code. Links are right here. So let me know how it goes, and happy testing.